Hey, welcome to the Daily Dose of Dopamine. I'm Susan Scarlett. This is my buddy, Robert Cochran. And I, I have a, a brand new word for us to kick around. Yeah, please, please. It is a Hawaiian word. It's on my shirt. And is that pronounced ho'okupu? Ho'okupu. Ho'okupu. Huh? And it translates offering. And offering? the concept of offering, yes. Uh, I had the privilege of attending a beautiful uh, retreat um, some years ago, run by family, uh, my niece Amelia and Kawila, and uh, a local woman from outside of Hana uh, on Maui. And we were meant to bring an offering as a, as a mm, gift, if we want to, if we wanted to, to uh, to kick off the the ceremony i mean the the retreat which was maybe five days and it could be anything something you made something you found it could be anything but the concept was an off a true offering and um it was fun for me because i knew instantly what i wanted to do which was find a heart-shaped rock which is never hard because they just appear in my life all the time um, and I did. And um, so here it is on my shirt. So this was particularly meaningful to me, this shirt, because <laughs> sweating is not something that I ever really love to do. And this was an effort. This was, it was hot. It was outdoors, pretty basic. And I love the concept that someone came up with this expression that their ho'okupu ho, ho, yeah. right. was their effort, you know, their right. being there. So anyway, it's a, I think there are probably lots and lots and lots of ways of looking at offering, including sometimes it's a noun and sometimes it's a verb, but it's kind of the noun part of it. I don't know, just wonder if you have any. Oh, yeah, no, huge. I, I, I love the, not only the concept, but the way it's framed within exercise, like you said, because so much, uh, you know about exercise i think has to do with your mental approach to it we we spend time it seems like to me focusing on things that that frankly are the wrong approach like which is the best exercise or you know how do i achieve you know th this result this that and the other and the point is to engage right yeah. and, and, and this is the same as learning and i love this from more progressive minded teachers in the classroom too and it's really where I'd like to see education move entirely is toward the focus on effort as opposed to a grade, right? Mm. People are so result oriented, same with fitness as they are in the classroom. How do I get an A? How do I get my washboard abs or whatever? And they forget that the effort is the part that matters, mm -hmm. right? The presence. So the sweat is All right. You right. Know, because it isn't, you know, you can't, if you just show up at the gym or whatever effort, you know, whatever exercise it is you're doing, you're, you're not necessarily doing anything. In fact, you can do damage because you could say, well, it didn't work. You have to get to a level of, of effort that exactly. makes this what happen in order to achieve the result you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's beautiful. I really, yeah. I love that a lot. Yeah. I love that you said that it, I actually watched pay it forward last night yeah and that's the teacher starts off the whole movie by saying that you know the kids are like what are we going to get an a we're going to fail if we don't you know solve the, all of the world's problems yeah, like, yeah. Oh, the effort you put in you're graded on your effort yeah yeah and, and it's it's such a it's a slippery thing and i i understand <clears throat> both sides of it because i understand as a student as i said going through this phd program that was me on day one how do i i'm, I'm here to get an a you know state and day in front of everybody you know and then you know uh and being gently rebuffed in that regard but then also recognizing as i tried to ease into that to recognize there were teachers who were going to subjectively give me lesser grades and and, and to recognize there is a problem because you do as a student um get rewarded or punished based on those grades so i mean Ultimately, I, I just like to see grades go away and a new form of sweat taking, as it were, to recognize individual approach to education, recognizing that, you know, rote memorization or rote information exchange is a really crappy way to to, you know, do that. Just like at the gym, if you don't lift like this, you can't possibly get in a workout. It's like, 
what, what if my body type has a different type of thing or I enjoy engaging differently in whatever exercise it is? <laughs> yeah, or running or cycling or swimming or yoga yeah. or Tai Chi or yeah. whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It's that old thing, the one you like to do. <laughs> Education should be the same way. You know, I mean, not that there aren't standards of things you, you want to get across, of course. And that's, what, of course, people always go, we have to know math, we have to know our science. And, and I get those. But again, those aren't hardened concepts either. There's creativity in math. There's creativity right. in science. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So I, I just watched yesterday, straight through, twice in a row, um, Tim Hague's talk about uh, the Amazing Race Canada. And I'm going to tease that for our next episode, at Tim Hague's Amazing Race Canada on tomorrow's Daily Dose. <laughs>